Patrick, hopefully this is where you will be in a few weeks' time, putting for a major. How are your preparations going for the Open? Yeah, it's it's an interesting time. Obviously, uh, you know, I've been playing in the States all year, so to be honest, I wouldn't be necessarily thinking about the Open, but now I've got four more weeks. Uh, I've got the Irish Open, French Open, Scottish Open, and not quite every shot, but certainly half the shots between now and the Open will be will have the focus of how I'm going to go around the Lynx golf course so I'll be playing a lot trying to hit the ball a little bit lower with all my clubs uh, you know work a little bit more and pitch and runs practice out Lynx sand and the bunkers just 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 get myself ready so you have you have a full month really where you're focusing on on Lynx golf the rest of the year the other 11 months it's all about trying to hit the ball high in the air because in this course here at Boy Day, we've got a bit of a breeze up today when this gets going, it's tricky, isn't it? This it, can blow your miles off. Yeah, this is this is a tough golf course. A lot of dog legs with crosswinds, so it, it, it is one of the toughest golf courses to hit the fairways on. And uh, you know, we had terrible trouble the last time we were here. There wasn't much wind the last time, but it was very firm and fast. And you, we were we were put under pressure to, to to get our tee shots further down, to leave shorter shots into the greens, to hold the greens, and you know, trying to cut the dog legs was was exceptionally difficult. And uh, you know, certainly caught up with a lot of us. Tiger played the course a completely different way. He, he laid back of all the dog legs, uh, you know, left himself much longer shots into the green. But probably at the time, he was the only one capable of, of, of using that strategy.